terrorists surrender arms poaches among army biggest wins in 2021. General Usman, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former Nigerian Army spokesman, Brigadier General Sani Usman, has hailed the surrendering of terrorists to security agents, describing it as historic. He also said the procurement of more arms for security operatives is a big win and a fight against insecurity. These people are missing two things. So. Do you know that you can be busy from January to December and at the end of the day, it means nothing? If you have been busy and you cannot give results for what kept you busy, there is, you are not doing anything. You are what they call busy bee. There is a difference between being busy and being productive. I'm not saying the Nigerian army, they are not doing their best. Though. I'm saying it is only going to result when it results, not just surrendering. Surrendering of, oh, look, these people can make it easy for you. Imagine where all your enemies, you're in the battlefield, you're a king, and you are, you have, everybody has told you that they are coming for war with you. And all of, all of a sudden, they start surrendering. Look, your subordinate will tell you not to lie low. You are going to be very, what they call, as, as wise as a serpent. You will make sure that they're surrendering, not that tomorrow they will not clamp against you. These people are making it easy. And of course, a victory that comes too easy, somebody who is a king and who knows that you don't win a battle too easily, will know that it is not yet time to celebrate. And they are coming out to celebrate. We are saying, we are not saying do not celebrate. We are saying celebrate with your two eyes open. Don't be too, too in the jubilation mood that you forget that you just won a war and not a battle. These people have been winning against you for crying out loud. How many people have died? If you want to really come out and say, oh, they are doing well. How many people have actually died? A lot, thousands, hundreds. In fact, in the end of the year, we witnessed a lot of ban. In fact, the activities increased. So what are you saying? It is until the Northern starts telling us that, oh, we can now sleep. We can now go to a farm without harassment. We can now stay in our homes. We are no longer that scared. It has been long we saw them. It has been six months. It has been eight months. It has been one year. It has been two years. That is when we say, okay, yes, good words. We start clapping very loudly. And we start proclaiming. And of course, not without being cautious of them coming back. Yes. So I feel it is still too early to come out and start saying big wins and all. Please, how is buying <laughs> arms for the army a big win? Okay, fine. Other governments have not done it. But let us not forget that if you are going to be clapping your hand for this, this it is this people's duty to provide arms. Else, is it their teeth they used to go and fight the war? I'm not trying to be too harsh, but this thing I'm just saying, I'm trying to be very, very realistic here. Stay with us, the details, news and details. General Usman made a comment on Friday during an end-of-the-year review program on channels television. Apart from the renewed synergy among the armed forces and other security agencies, you have seen the concerted efforts and the fight against insurgency and terrorism to the extent that over 23,000 terrorists have voluntarily surrendered, he said during the show. This is the most unprecedented, unprecedented and I think it is a good achievement in the sense that, he ranks, that the ranks of the terrorists have been greatly depleted to the point now that they have resorted to recruiting child soldiers knowing fully well that the Nigerian military is professional and they respect human rights, so they cannot shoot these child soldiers. We know that their terrorists are in disarray. This is a good achievement. And apart from that, there is an injection of equipment, he added, noting that security operatives have been able to stifle attempts by a criminal element. I think the terrorists are on their knees, General Usman said calling on Nigerians to work with the government in a fight against insecurity. He, however, admits that the government has to take the front seat. There are issues that we need to address because the bulk of this confidence we have in this country have their roots in, have their roots in issues associated with socioeconomic deprivation and bad governance. The former spokesman added, how are we addressing them? General Usman also called for more efforts in the radicalizing the surrender terrorists. Now that we have this unprecedented number of terrorists surrendering, what mechanism do we have in place vis-a-vis -vis our experiences in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and just recently, Rwanda, 
What are those things in place to ensure that we handle the issue effectively and professionally to ensure we don't have a relapse and ensure justice is served? He asked. So, like I said earlier, this issue of them surrendering to me, it might be a plot on their end. Of course, it might be a plot on their end. It might be that they are now hungry. They want to come and eat. And of course, Nigeria is always known, is one of a country known to, you know, massage these people's ego, give them rice, give them beans, coastal ice cream, pizza, juice. That's what Nigerian government does. And of, sincerely, I will say this. I've never, ever, ever heard of a government that actually, you know, wraps the back of, um, of um, a, 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 a agencies that are actually killing their people. Do you hear, let's say, for, for, for instance, United States Kingdom, I mean, the United Kingdom now, robbing the back of terrorists that killed their people. Of course, you don't hear of that. You only hear of that in countries such as us. So, to me, yes, the, the army are doing their best, but sincerely, these people surrendering is not the way to go. If a war is won too easily, sincerely, that means the war is not yet ended. It means those people that surrendered are lying low for something and are actually waiting for something to happen. They're waiting to relaunch. It is a very, very good plot from the other end. It is a very good plot. So instead of we saying, oh, we have done this, we are doing that, I'm not saying the, the army personnel, I'm not trying. All I'm saying is that we should not be too, too we should not start debilitating too soon that we are really winning the war. And of course, I say again, buy, no matter what you buy, you buy ammo tank, you buy Super Tucano age, A9 Super Do, um, Super, A9 Super Tucano jets, you buy, you know, arms and ammunition. These things are not going to be a big win. Do you know why? Because we don't yet have results. Results is the beauty of thing. If you go into business and you're not making profit, tell me, will you be happy? No, because you know that the aim of you going into business, you have not actually achieved that. Yes, it is going to be like you are not out of business. But at the same time, it is like you're just, you know, going through the years. And of course, everybody will want to do better. So all we are saying is that they should do better. And of course, it is a collective issue. The issue is not just for the, the work is not just for the government alone, but definitely there will be cheerleading. I mean, they're going to be at the helm of affairs, but we as Nigerians and other masses, we are going to be need to be watching out for ourselves. And whatever, if we see something that is not, that is alien to us, we have got to report. And I just hope that even after reporting to the authorities, that we are listening to because we've heard a, a lot of we went to the police we went to the army and they did not listen to us or they did not do anything about it that is it on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen and i said i come here next time enjoy the rest of your day